origin story I was born long ago then we suffered and now we're here <laughs> right <laughs> well when was that um, anyway guys check it out I'm Jordan this is Sean Sean is my homie since like yo I was like 12 years old this dude has been literally a staple in my life I cannot think of not having Sean around me it's a fantastic friend Fantastic teacher. If you ever want to learn how to play the guitar, this is the dude you're going to have to go to. He is my soul. Like, I love Avatar, guys. So, really, this dude was my first master in terms of getting me to play the guitar. And from there onwards, yeah, this is my side of the story. In a little nutshell, just for now. Um, guitar playing, went from guitar playing with my teacher to eventually starting my first band with Sean. And if you want to check him out, he's at Serval. What's, what's your name again on your Serval tank? Serval Sound. On... Serval Sound. Serval Sound Studio, right? That's us. Cool. Fantastic. And yeah, the dude is doing really great at the sound studio in South Africa. And yeah, I'm going to leave all the little tasty stuff for other videos, guys. So cool, Sean. Tell them your side of the story, bro. Let's well, go. Jordan's being very, very um, humble here. Um, I was his guitar student um, more than he was mine, to be honest. He's taught me so much <laughs> as well. So we've played in many bands together. I think it's now three bands. We did uh, our first rock band. Eventually, Jordan had to yeah. twist my arm on that. But it wasn't our first one. We first played in a pop band. Um, <laughs> yeah. In between then, I think we were pulling you into recording sessions there where we were doing the Creator collaborations, everyone pulling in weird different producers and vocalists and just making madness and music. But um, that other band we started, the first one, started with so many names, Dude Rugs, Black Tape Lies, yeah. Tigers and Terrorists, we went through so many name changes. Wow, yeah, like, also it was um, not for sale. There not was, like, for sale, yeah, not for sale, me. oh man. And I, I just, I remember how much effort we went into with the whole building that, you know, lifestyle and, oh, we had fun. Indeed. We had fun, you know, that, that's what we can always look back at and say, no matter, no matter how far this goes, when I was, what was, what was I, 19, you know, you were yeah. you were along tagging along to all of that madness. I can't believe <laughs> that you, you. I mean, you couldn't have turned out to be anybody else. Like since you were twelve, you and it, then right? into the mosh pits we go, there was nothing else <laughs> left for you. I mean, guitar became your life, um, and you've always it been really, really dedicated. Good. Like your sportsmanship really shows in your whole life. When you go for the kill, you go for the kill. So, like I was saying, you were much more my teacher eventually in the end to be honest in the in the band room uh, thanks, so the, the student became the master um <laughs> but yeah Thank we went you, through man. all those bands and oh god entire year long rehearsal sessions the same yeah, the same crazy. 10 songs and we just end up changing vocalists over and over and over again 11 vocalists <laughs> later and then shame I thought I was 13 well, I stopped counting. Oh, yes, I it was 11 counting. because the first one, uh, one of the ones were like actually repeated back. And then that actually became the person who sat in the, uh, like the ultimate phase of that band. Now, now it's really nice with Bulletstone when you disagree with your bass player or your drummer, you know, you just tell me to delete the sh. Just, just, just delete it. Just ignore all the last <laughs> six hours of your life. Mm. Mm. It must be yeah, nice, eh? Dude, like, it's, it's, especially, yeah, I must say, like, when we really got into production for the third time, whatever, and, like, yeah, really started knuckling down because um, this is really so much a passion of you and I. And when we really rekindled our um, friendship back in 2019 when I was still playing professional tennis and you were still 
doing a sound um, in South Africa. It was crazy. So when everything came together last year, I was still trying to figure out that old idea we had when I actually traveled to Europe the first time. And you're like, dude, how can we make this album? And eventually it just all started coming together and got better in the process compared to now. Like a year later, it's so much easier. I sent you like that last track free, right? And you're like, okay, good. No, last goodbye. And you're like, wow, dude, yeah, great. Compared to last year, I was like, geez, dude, just fuck. Do it again, do it again. <laughs> I'm sorry about the swearing. I forgot about that. It's my bad. <laughs> rock and roll, man. Rock and roll. <laughs> 